everyone, it's Angela here, Nerfenstein, and today I'm about to test paint five of each of the Outlive board game components. I'm just about to spray them with some acrylic black, see if that holds and doesn't go sticky, and we'll go from there. Hey, and I'm back. I've undercoated them. Some of them have rolled when I've been spraying them. So I'll need to fix those up. I'll probably just hand paint any that I come across that I've messed up. But for the most part, not too bad. Mainly the round ones that have rolled. I'm going to start by doing the ammunition. Let me just get it all out and then I'll come back. Okay, here we go. I've separated out all of the ammunition that I can find anyway. And I'm going to just do it bronze. Tiny bit of bronze on here. It's going to be fiddly, but here we go. You're probably wondering why didn't you just spray it uh, copper? Or bronze just to get a little bit of highlight in it really so there we go that's one done now to do the other have many a lot why did I start this guys why the uh, bullets but I think I might get super faffy and do the top of the fatter one red just make it pop a little bit they look pretty cool they look better than the orange plastic that they were to begin with put those aside and what do we do next I think we'll do these because I like them they're cool racker ribs that noise in the background is one of my favourite live uh, YouTube channels. They're playing a board game and I'm watching it as I'm painting. So, Okay, let's do one red and see what it looks like. If it looks rubbish, I'll hit the brown. These have got to be the coolest game components. Rack of ribs. So cool. I don't want to think about the kind of ribs they are in post-apocalyptic world. Hmm. I think I will go with red and I'll tell you why so that they're fresh ribs I don't think there'd be many uh, barbecues that would do, do ribs if everything fell to bits so I'll put a link to this uh, YouTube channel that I'm watching uh, in the description of this video and if ever you're online you should join it because I try to join their live videos whenever they do one because they're really good very community based really really like it and the chatters are great as well right that's one rib done I'll time lapse the rest super boring same thing over and over again and I might do the bones uh, a different color as well once they're done in much the same way that I'm going to add the red to the ammunition that's the ribs done I'm just going to do the bones at the top same with this I'm going to do that red man this has taken a lot longer than I thought I thought because it was just slap and dash that I'd have all this done but uh, no Next up, I'm going to do the pieces of metal and I'm going to do those uh, silver. Okay, I've cleaned the brush, dried it out and I'm going to hit it with some silver acrylic. I'm hoping that the technique is coming across. It's not a very neat technique. It's basically just smashing it out over the black with a very light uh, dry brush. So it's the same again for these cool little metal bits. A little bit of silver. Okay. So 
first one done. Get Julian to go. Okay, guys, that was a nightmare. I had to do these numerous times to get this silver to look silvery. So that's just a wee word of warning if you're doing it. Um, I am about to continue with the silver just because I've got some left and do the wee cans. Same thing, but lightly to differentiate them from the dark silver that's got numerous coats. So, completely locked out. to say the other thing that I've done is I've taken all the little chipboards um, over to where I'm spray painting and I'm spray painting them dark green just so you've got those ready to go onto the water bottles I'm just going to use this blue cobalt blue Having looked at it now, I might actually do it with a really light blue, just to highlight it once it's dried. Okay, more time consuming shenanigans. Hey guys, that's all the little water bottles done. I might still hit them up with a really light dry brush of a lighter blue, um, but they look pretty cool. Not too bad, better than they did anyway. And uh, next up, I'll probably do these logs. They're going to be brown, obviously. Okay, to stand out from the dark, I'm just going to hit them with a light coat of yellow ochre. So it's not actually brown. See what it looks like as before, and if it's rubbish, I'll go over it with something darker. I'm going to do both ends and then I'll do the center. Give the ends time to dry so I can hold it. Just decided while I was waiting on the ends of the logs to dry that I would use the same color for the ribs that are sticking out. not super neat but it's definitely having the desired effect so I think my eyes are getting tired from staring at such tiny things getting old guys I'm gonna leave it there for now probably for today and I'll come back tomorrow and finish it it'll be the same day for you because I'll be editing it all in a oney see you tomorrow Hey folks, it's the next day and I'm back. I'm just about to do these little logs and I decided to do them with red oxide. It's kind of a reddy brown just to differentiate it from the end bits. And I'm just going to do that in the same way. A little bit on, a bit off and then across the grain of the wood. And I'm going to do that for all of them. It's going to take a while. I will speed it up. You can see the technique. It's super easy. Okay, that's all the little logs done. Look pretty cool. The ends of them are a light color. Next up, the last ones, the little motherboard or sound card type things. And I've spray painted these green just because that is the usually the color of that kind of thing. And I'm going to dry brush it silver. I'll do one in slow and then I'll time lapse the rest. We'll come back when they're finished. Might have to do these a few times, I think. It's not really 
connecting to it like I want. This coat, let it dry and then do another coat. Apologies for the noise outside. My neighbor has decided to do his gardening as he does when I'm usually recording. I'm just updating you with what I've done. So I finished the little motherboards. I have done the ribs on the ribs, but I need to neaten those up. Um, and I'm just about to go over the darker blue water bottles with a little bit of a lighter blue dry brush, just so they look a little bit brighter. I'll just hit all these up like this and then I'll come back if you're interested to know the color it is cerulean blue that's just a little bit lighter than the one I originally did them with so that one first that one now okay guys we're on the home straight the next bit is just picking up each individual piece and seeing where there's any mistakes and fixing them so the ribs are probably going to be the worst because of this, if you can see that. So I'm just gonna have to go around that with the original color, which was red from memory, uh, just to neaten them up where they're poking out. So I'm probably gonna have to do each one of those. These ones look pretty good. I think the water bottles look okay now. These look pretty good. Maybe a little bit of silver where the dry brush has caught the edge. Couldn't do much about that. And these are pretty good. I might have to lighten some of the edges. Cans look okay and the bullets look okay. Nearly finished and then I'll take some nice photos of them and try and find a before uh, picture as well. And we'll put them together and see which one looks cool. Uh, just a wee update, I've decided to use the red oxide just to neaten up the ribs. It's going to take a while. So I'll do one now and then I'll speed the rest up or just edit it out. It's one done. However many to go. I'll come back when it's all finished. I was so excited then guys, I thought I'd finished, but I haven't. Remember I said I'd do the grenade, the top of the grenade red. I'm just gonna do that now, super quickly. Okay, I don't like it, looks like a lipstick now. I'm gonna do it green. <laughs> These things happen. Sap green, in fact. I think that looks better. You get the idea. I'll come back when they're all done. And we're done. You can let me know in the comments whether you think I made a grave error there with the changing it to green, but I like it more. I think it looks a little bit more ammunition-y, a little bit more like grenades rather than lipsticks, but let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts anyway. That is how to paint your Outlive components other than the figures. There's so many figures, I can't even, I'm not gonna have time to do them, so I'm just gonna leave them probably. But I think this makes a nice little addition to the game, nice and thematic. I might still stick some little labels on these when I get time, not now. I'll take some photos now of them finished and do some comparison shots. Hopefully you've liked this video enough to subscribe if you haven't uh, already. And uh, maybe give it a blue thumbs up. Nerfenstein out. <laughs>